Hi YouTube, this is Patrick and this is my review of The Walking Dead Season 3 premiere. And I keep hearing from a lot of people um, about how amazing the episode was and how great and everything like that. I thought it was good. It was a solid premiere. I don't think it was like, you know, this great, great, great thing. Um, but it was good. It was good. And, um, you know, they always have good premieres. In fact, the two best episodes of this series are for me anyway, are the series premiere that Frank Darabont directed and last season's premiere, the 90-minute episode, you know, with the whole, the the traffic jam and everything like that and Carl getting shot and all that. Um, so those episodes were great. This is actually my least favorite premiere of the first three. Um, but still, very, very good. And um, the thing that I liked about it the most is this episode basically did the opposite of all the things that we were complaining about last season. Um, the, you know, there weren't really any long, pointless dialogue scenes. There wasn't really that much angst, you know, between the characters. Um, in fact, we got a couple of great uh, scenes where there just was no dialogue. The, the series just opened um, with them just, you know, kind of going through a house and... Um, you know, and just kind of having these grim looks in their faces and the way they took the prison, just the whole way they just all, you know, just everything was done with very minimal dialogue and all that stuff. Just so all that was really, really good. It was nice to see that they, at least for one episode, seemingly listened to all the criticism from the past couple of seasons. I really like that they used a passage of time of almost like eight months between seasons because it allowed the characters to all get better at uh, surviving in this world. Um, I know people complaining that they saw, you know, we saw the prison at the end of last season and now what, they've been walking around it for nine months or eight months or whatever, but, you know, um, yeah, okay, they could have done an overhead shot of the prison, like, you know, and then zoomed in very far away, I guess, if you want to backtrack, um, they probably should have done that instead, but, uh, that really, really doesn't matter, that's a, that's a, I think that's a pretty big, you know, nitpick, um, but the passage of time was really, really, uh, I think really one of the better things for the episode. Not only it also helps with Carl and his age, but um, it gives the feeling of a more fresh start after a season that, you know, the show needed a fresh start uh, with all the changes that they made in front and behind the scenes of the show. Now, just because the episode had a lot of, you know, quiet moments or moments with no dialogue and it had a lot of action and a good, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, gore and zombie kills and everything like that, uh, the character moments were still there, and they were actually, you know, decent. They weren't, there weren't a lot of them, but what we got was good. And the one good thing was that the scenes with uh, Lori were actually strong. That's certainly an improvement over last season. Her, you know, upset about the baby might not be moving, and if the baby's dead, then it turns into a zombie because of the infected, of the infection. So, you know, actually pretty strong stuff. And um, all the other stuff, all the other scenes... That were character moments. Him singing around the fire was nice, and uh, Daryl and um, Carol, um, you know, got an okay little moment. Carol seems less, um, you know, whiny, much like Lori. Uh, I like Carl is trying to hit on the uh, the blonde girl. Um, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I know he's like 12, but look, in a couple of years he'll be, you know, 17, 18, and she'll only be like 22, 23. So, in a zombie apocalypse world, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Uh, moving on with to Andrea and the um, you know the samurai chick. I, I I'm not gonna pronounce her name her name yet until I know it for sure, um, or till I know how to pronounce it for sure. I should say their scene was fine. It wasn't really anything special. A lot of people again are going nuts about oh how badass she is. And yeah, she is badass, but you know nothing really that special. I don't think really happened. But um, it was fine. They're gonna meet up with the the governor and all that stuff. So I'm sure whatever their storyline, they didn't really do much this episode. Uh, but I'm sure they'll get a lot more to do, uh, I guess, next week or the one after or something like that. But, uh, you know, for now, fine. The whole prison setting is, you know, it's like a fun uh, horror house, basically. And uh, it's going to cause a lot of problems for our characters. And, um, you know, yeah, just them walking around dark, you know, corners and stuff like that. You know, playing up the real horror elements of the show is uh, something that, you know, the show kind of lost a bit. Uh, last season and kind of even lost a bit in the first season uh, as we got toward the end of that. So, um, yeah, so that, you know, that's something that a zombie show, you know, you should have. should have elements of actual, you know, like fear and terror going on. 
and uh, the premiere definitely had that. And, you know, again, it's just another improvement. So, um, the more I just say the episode was just solid and, and, you know, good, I'm not trying to say, you know, I'm not trying to say that it wasn't good. I'm trying to say that um, I didn't think it was, like, the greatest thing that a lot of people online are saying, like, oh, my God, it was amazing. Like, it was good. The ending, I mean, the problem, the only problem that I have with the show is kind of like, look, the ending, Herschel got bit, and I like Herschel, but I didn't really sit there and go, oh, no, oh, too bad. It's, um... They have to do... They have to make me care a little bit more about the characters. Um, you know, if we can get any moment like we did in the pilot of the... Uh, you know, the Frank Darabont episode where... Um, where we cut between the uh, the black guy had to shoot his wife and Rick having to shoot the, uh, the bicycle girl. If we can get any moments like that, um, that was the peak of the show. That specific moment. That was the best moment on the show. If we can get moments like that as the season goes forward, and, I'm, and I hope we do. Plus with the new governor character and Merle and everybody. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things to look forward to. Uh, the ending of the episode, there's other characters in the prison, so that creates another problem. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to just more fast-paced stuff. I just hope the episode can just stay as solid as it was and get better as it goes. So, um, yeah. All right. Tell me what you guys thought. If you liked it, you know, if you didn't think it was, it was amazing, let me know. If not, uh, I will talk to you guys next week. Later.